Hello everyone, welcome to this month's Stamp Around UK video blog hop. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the project that you've just come from and don't forget to click on to the next one. All the details will be down below this video um, for who the next person um, contributing is. There'll be links to their YouTube channel. So today, as we are uh, almost in June, no, we are in June <laughs> by the time you uh, see this, um, Father's Day is approaching and I thought I would show you a few um, different projects with this stamp set, A Good Man. You can get it in this catalogue and the good news is it is carrying over to next month's, next year's catalogue rather. So here we go, I'm going to show you a few of these. I haven't actually made them as yet so we will make them together. Let's go. The first project I'm going to show you is super simple. We are just going to use our Whisper White note cards and envelopes. Now, the reason I'm showing you this is because I know, especially in times like we're in it, <laughs> the times that we're in it rather, with quarantine, we have a lot of children at home and they're creative and they like to make things for their parents. Um, and usually, you know what, at school, they'd be making Father's Day projects with their teachers, but as they're not in school, we can always make them together. So I thought here I would show you a super simple project using this and our white cards, white note cards and envelopes. I'm so going to um, make it really, really easy. I'm just going to take a Night of Navy ink pad. I'm going to ink that up. Just check my ink coverage. And I am going to stamp that straight here. So I often keep strips of card um, just in a little pot for from when I've trimmed off Whisper White cardstock. So I'm just going to take one of those strips and carefully as I can stamp that straight. So I'm just going to uh, snip off one end, and I'm over it about here, and I'm just going to flag the other end. So snip it off first, snip in the middle, and then bring both sides in to meet that point. And our snips are quite sharp right till the end, so it lets us do that. I think I'm just going to take some dimensionals. Just using the minis though. I think these are probably um, it's probably wide enough to take the larger ones. And using a little trick I learned in this video hop last month. I'm going to take off the covers or the backing leather. I'm going to just put that there. Okay, so on the inside, I'm going to use the Thanks to You, I Grew Up Loved. So a quick stamp of that, or inking up of that. And don't worry that uh, the loved is meant to be a little bit um, distressed. And then... Little heart. Now we could, if we want, maybe colour that in. My children probably would, or we could leave it blank. Maybe we'll both colour it in. Um, I have, oh no, I can't use blend, of course. So I have Just using a marker. Very simple. And just as a little embellishment, I'm going to use the Poppy Parade uh, twine, which comes in the current um, Clubhouse suite. I believe, what was it called? Country Club Twine Combo Pack. 
You get four twines in that pack. So you get uh, Garden Green, Knight of Navy, Puppy Parade, and Basic Black, I think is the last one. So. Super simple like that. Kids would love to make that. It's not hard and they could also colour in the image if they want, which is what we're going to do in our next project. So for card number two, I'm going to start with a base of Old Olive. And I am going to use the technique that I used the last time, which was just cutting a little portion of that off. So we know that this measures um, 10 and a half this way because it's an A4 cut in half. So how much how big? That might be a little bit too big. I think I will just take off a seven centimeter section, maybe seven and a half centimeter section here. And then I will add that on here. So I'm taking this DSP, which is from the Painted Poppies, Peaceful Poppy, sorry, DSP, um, in the spring summer catalogue. It reminds me a little bit of stripes of the um, deck chair, because I'm going to use this image this time with the uh, guy sitting on the deck chair. So we're going to cut that at, let's just check the measurements here first. This is measuring seven and a half, obviously by 10 and a half. So we'll do seven by 10. And stripes, which way will we go? We'll go stripes this way. So seven by 10. And we can glue that, adhere that straight down. And for this section, with For this section, I'm going to take another piece of Whisper White measuring 7 by 10 and I'm going to put, attach that there eventually once I have stamped our, oops, this stamp this time. I'm going to ink that up with um, Memento ink, which you've got good even coverage, and then I'm going to stamp him to the left so I can put a sentiment on the right. Then I'm going to take some blends. So this time I'm using It's Your Day and on the inside I'm going to write Relax Your right or Stamp Relax Your Way. So first of all we will just stamp this in the corner. For this card I'm trying to uh, show you that um, you, kind of stepping it up in terms of supplies. As you can see that um, you can't stamp this straight onto the card. Um, because it does bleed, so you need to be matting it, or um, just not, it can't be used in a single layer card, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to use Relax Your Way on the inside. And usually, what you should do is uh, stamp, then stick. Um, but I'm a bit of a rebel at the minute, because this hopefully will go correct. And not, I'm not going to ruin it. <laughs> Phew. Okay, so it's your day, relax your way. Um, and I think I will raise this with some dimensionals. Take off the back of mine.
this our second card. So the first card is the lined image, no colouring. Second card, a little bit of colouring. Let's get ready for our third. For the next card, we are going to use Basic Black, the DSP from the Botanical Prints Medley. And I have pre-cut a nest stitched nested label die. We're going to use the final um, stamp in the series. This time I'm going to emboss the image in white, heat emboss. So first of all, because we don't want any speckles of embossing powder going in the wrong way, wrong direction, we can just um, use our embossing buddy. These are retiring, so if you don't own one, I would get one soon. Um, this stamp set, as I said, isn't retiring, so that will appear in our next catalogue. I've got some Versamark, which I will stamp the image with. So we're going to stamp that here. Then I'm going to take my white embossing powder. Missing a little bit on the arm. Then I'm going to use my heat tool and heat emboss that. So just going to wrap, before I attach this down, wrap some twine. Um, this is also from the um, Clubhouse Suite, which retires... Um, this week with the launch of our new annual catalogue. I hope you're as excited as I am to add some new bits to your um, stamping arsenal. So that will do. Oops. Oh, I have a dimensional stuck to my scissors. Then I'm going to adhere this. You see this botanical prints has some floral and fruit images on the other side and then some really cool um, monochrome images the other side. So some dimensionals for the back of this. And adding this as centrally as I can get it. So that's um, as another simple card, but obviously you to recreate this, you need a little bit and some dyes and the embossing equipment. Um, but another variation. And for our final card, let me tidy up and I'll be straight back. Our final card is going to use a base and a mat of crumb cake and we are going to stamp um, the image in soft suede to the left using the larger image back to the one we first used. I'm going to do what is called a watercolour, no, not watercolour, sorry, a whitewash, I think. Um, I think that's the term. So I'm going to take my aqua painter and some Whisper White Craft ink. I'm going to pull some ink into the lid and then I'm going to colour this image in the white. I don't want my ink, um, my aqua painter too wet, but just enough um, because I I'm going to try and avoid the soft suede bits a little bit. Um, I don't want to run the image, but actually I've tried this a couple of times and it doesn't seem to run, so it's just to give it a an old 
kind of feel to it. But we have quite a few of these style of image in the catalogue. Um, we had Beautiful You, um, which was one of our first ones. Um, but unfortunately that is retiring. So if the, that one is one of your favourites, um, do you have a couple of days to get it. Um, but we, we have a couple of more and we will be getting a new one which is very sweet. I'm sure you're going to love it. So just going over this. It's hard to see as some bits dry first. So which bits have the most colour, which need a little bit more. But it does, as long as your brush is not too wet, it does dry fairly quickly. It is. Normally, when I've done this before, I haven't stamped in ink. I have heat embossed it in white, usually. Um, and that really helps with the colour not running because it's obviously got the, um, the buffer of the embossed raised image. But obviously not doing that today. So it's a little different, but yeah, I'm happy with that. So just clean off um, my brush. Then I'm going to take some balmy blue for our little girl trousers. And I'm not too particular about it looking perfect because it is going to be that wistful um, look. I'm taking some garden green for um, our father's shirt. I've got a little bit too much um, water coming out there to dry that off. My brush was getting a little dry, so I squeezed some water out. I may have squeezed a trifle too much. There. Okay, so from Garden Green, we are going to maybe a little red for her shirt. So some real red. And finally, we do Night of Navy for the trousers of the dad. can go to town on the shading if you like or not so we can make get some hair let's give them the or well, we'll give dad some brown hair maybe some early espresso
and then we'll get the other girl. She needs some blonde hair, I guess. Oh, it looks so saffron, which is quite nice and delicate. So, so saffron. Watch that in. Oh, they're a little girl. I think she's a little girl. Well, she is not. Okay, so that's our image. I've got a little piece of this paper, which I believe is from the tropical. Um, the name escapes me, but I'll add it to the, to the link description. I'm going to just add that to the corner, the corner of the left hand side. So a little bit bigger than I hoped, so just going to trim that up here. I have a two inch circle punch, sorry, two inch punched out circle um, in crumb cake. And this is in soft suede using the starburst punch. And then I'm using soft suede to punch on that. I'm going to attach these. One on top of the other. And I'm going to just cut off a little bit from that side. Like so. And have that there. And I shall weigh that with my trusty dimensionals. So just going to attach uh, a little bit of this braided linen trim um, just so it's poking out this side. I think that would be nice. Okay, not sure how I did that yet. So just going to use a little bit of the braided linen trim to um, just so it's visible. Like so. Trim that down a little. Just going to distress that a little bit. And I shall attach that then. Then we'll of course have you're the best. Oops. Actually that way round. With a little of that Okay, you enjoyed this little montage. We have very, very simple. So you have literally one ink pad and a marker, piece of ribbon for that one. Um, you have some colouring materials to enable you to do this one. Now we're stepping up to some dies and then some punches. One stamp set, four ways. Do hop on to the next contributor and we'll see you all again next month. Bye.